In EDIUS 6.5, the layouter has been enhanced in many areas. To start with, when scaling image or video data, you can specify the resampling method used. I'll demonstrate this by scaling this video up to 1000%. And this is the result. Now, if I change the resampling method's algorithm, I can influence the quality of the scaled image. We can see the results straight away in the preview window. And as we can see, by specifying a high quality resampling method, the image or video material is displayed to a higher standard. As standard, the default resampling mode is set to current project setting, which allows me to globally define the resampling method from the project settings. With this, I can, for example, choose a quick resampling method for editing and then later on change this resampling method to a high quality algorithm for outputting the project in best quality to DVD, Blu ray, or as data. In addition to this, the edge settings in the layouter have been expanded. If I wish to create an image in image effect, I can now add an edge with expanded settings, for example, rounded edges. And soft edges. And all of this can be easily adjusted from within the layouter. We now also have the possibility to reset separate sections of the layouter, for example, here for edge. And in doing so, I can reset this section to the default settings. Another new feature is the drop shadow function, with which I can add shadows. And we can see this more clearly in combination with Edge. And once again, we have various parameters with which to adjust the shadow as desired. One thing to stress concerning the drop shadow function is that it also works on image and video data with alpha channel data, so transparent regions. We can see this in the following image. First of all, I'll scale it and then I'll add a drop shadow to it. And we can see that the transparency is taken into consideration. This procedure also works when using nested sequences, if the sequence has an alpha channel and it is activated in the project settings. In this case, I can also activate a drop shadow from the layouter.